Hi everybody, my name is Victoria. If you're new here, welcome. Our channel is called Super Geeked where we post videos about things that we get super geeked about. And one of the things that I get super geeked about and also my friend Gayla who's on this channel too is selling and reselling fashion. So we purchase items from retail stores uh, at a discounted rate and then sell them on the Poshmark app for a profit. We also go to buy sell trade stores and thrift stores and garage sales, any place that you can purchase clothing, we go and post it on Poshmark for a profit. And that's how we make our money. So today I'm gonna to share with you a clothing haul. This is gonna show you a little bit of a mix between retail arbitrage, so that's new with tags items, and items that I've thrifted that I will also list on my Poshmark store for um, to make a profit on. So I'm going to start with the retail arbitrage items and we're going to kind of go through this quick because I have a lot to show. The first item is this really pretty metallic skirt. It is by Zara. It's got this really pretty print but it's like a faux leather um, and it does have this like ruffled peplum bottom. Really cute mini skirt and it is new with tags. And this is in a size medium. Next item is new without tags. And this is some more of that mod cloth that I've picked up, but it is these really cool velvet wide leg pants. And these are the mod cloth brand. They're in a one X and just really cute, comfy pants that you can wear out or around the house. Next item is another mod cloth. It is a size small and it is this really cute black, <clears throat> skater style dress so it's got like the skater skirt and it's got this really pretty moth embroidery on the front and this wine color really really pretty so this is uh, also new without tags this item is also a mod cloth but it is jack by bb dakota it is a size small and it is new with tags and it is this cute little um faux suede skirt it's completely buttoned down front Really precious skirt for this time of year, great for layering, and then you can also wear it in the warmer months. I love this dress so much. This is by the brand Bright and Beautiful, and it was carried at Mod Cloth. This is not a Mod Cloth house brand. It is just one of the brands that Mod Cloth carries. It is new with tags in a size medium, and it is this really cool tartan print high-low dress. So it's shorter in the front and longer in the back. And it's got a, like a V-neck in both the front and the back. So just really cool um, dress. And we have another mod cloth. So if you're wondering why I have all this mod cloth, it's because there's a, a store here in Mississippi that I've talked about in some of my other videos that does insurance and overstock buyouts from companies. And they've been getting a lot of mod cloth in. So I've been picking a lot up. So I do pay up for these items. This is a jacket that's a size small. It's got hearts all over it. It's got um, these two buttons in the front, but it doesn't actually button. There's like a metal hook and eye. And just really cute. It's got built-in shoulder pads and a nice little blazer. It is new without tags, but it does still have the button attached to the outside. Next item, I actually had two of these in different sizes and I've already sold one, but it's this really pretty herringbone uh, skater skirt. So it is just really precious. And again, it's new without tags, but it still has the button attached. I only have the size medium left and it's really pretty. The lining is like this really pretty um, satin. So the next item is this mod cloth. It's a one X and it is a sweater dress and it's dinosaurs. How fun is that? It's got three quarter length sleeves and it is new without tags. Okay, for the last of the mod cloth stuff I'm going to show today, if you can't tell, I love mod cloth. I carry a lot of it in my store. I've been fortunate to pick a lot of it up new with tags, but I carry this dress in a lot of different colors, and it's a, by the brand Chi Chi London, and it is just this beautiful lace. This is a like a teal color, but it's got these little cap sleeves and lace all over it. It is just beautiful. I have this in many colors in my closet. This one is new with tags, and this one is a size six. So just really pretty. And then here's another one of the colors in this dress. It is a lavender color. 
really pretty. It's kind of like a gray lavender. It's got like, like you can really see the gray in here. It's got silver lining under it. So I think that's what makes it pop out like that gray color underneath. But same dress, just in a different color with the little cap sleeves. Um, really pretty. And again, these, all these dresses that I have are new with tags. This is a size 14. And then I also have the lavender in a size 16. Okay, and last for the retail arbitrage, I have a Free People sweater. It's cropped with extra long sleeves. And here's the tag. It's in an extra small. And then here is the tag. Okay, the next items I'm going to show are items that I've thrifted. A lot of them, um, actually, I think pretty much all of them, I have not done anything to them. I have not gone over them with sweater shavers. I have not cleaned up the shoes. And, of course, I'll do all that before I list them. But the first ones are these really pretty sandals. And I'll obviously clean up all this down here that where you can still see some of the residue. But they are Lafayette 148, and they have these really cool, like, plastic chain details, but they're all leather. And they have these little metal Lafayette 148 um, emblems on the bottom. Uh, they're still in really good condition, and another pair that looked almost identical to these, even with the wear, sold for $80 on Poshmark. So, next up I have is a brand that... Sometimes I have trouble selling. It retails for a lot, but doesn't always resell for a lot. And it is Romeo and Juliet Couture. This is in a size medium. And it is a really cool sleeveless jean vest. So it's got the split V in the front. And it's got all these little spikes all over it in the top. They're like flat spikes. So just studs, I guess. And just really cute buckle in the back. This next item I really wanted to keep for myself, but it just did not work for me. It's this really fabulous Franco Sardo saddlebag, and it's in this pretty, like, purpley taupe color, and it is a crossbody. Here is the tag in the inside, and it's really looks like it has never been used. And like I said, I really loved this bag. I wanted it to work so bad and keep it, but I'm going to sell it. So for shoes, I have these Lucky Brand Leather Loafers. They're sort of like a suede feeling, um, but they are brand new. They have never been worn. The only thing that's written on the bottom is from the store that I got them from. Um, they are just in fabulous condition, and if they were my size, I would have kept them. They have just a little heel. So these pants I saw from a distance because of the color. They are a beautiful dusty rose. They're a velour wide leg, and they are by the brand... Nasty Gal, which I've actually never picked up before, um, but I know it's really popular. These are in a size 12. And again, just like the velvet ones that I have from Mod Cloth, these are just so soft and comfy. You could wear them out and you could wear them around the house. They have an elastic waistband, so super cute. Okay, these are an, a brand that I don't usually pick up a whole lot. This is American Eagle size large. I liked these pants because of the color. They're sort of like a burnt orange color, a little bit of yellow. They aren't picking up the yellow on the camera, but they have a tie belt and elastic waist and they're a straight leg with a little crop on them. They're just really cute, very stylish. I also found these velvet leggings. They're sort of, well, I thought they were black, but they actually have a like a charcoal in them too. So some under some light, they look black, some they look a little charcoal. But they are by White House Black Market, which is a bread and butter brand for me that I sell a lot of. And this is a size medium. Just some great leggings. Again, I was drawn to these pants because of the color. They're this wine. And they have this pretty embroidery all the way down. And then they stop. They have a see-through eyelet right here. And then the rest of the leg is just a panel. But they were a great color. And then I saw that they were torrid but they're from the Insider Collection. They're size 12, and these are just beautiful pants. Um, I don't think I've ever seen these before, but they have a side zip, and they're just really, really pretty and excellent condition. I feel like every time I pick up this brand, I always pick it up in the same size. This is a Bowdoin uh, UK size 12, US size 6, and it is a really pretty chambray polka dot pull popover dress. 
It's got these great little pockets on the front and three quarter length sleeves and just a precious little dress. I was also lucky enough to find this Lily dress. Now I haven't had very much luck selling Lily Pulitzer. Um, obviously I live in the South, so Lily Pulitzer is really popular with the um, bright, you know, floral designs, but this one's a little different because it is like a, it's a giraffe print with these cuff sleeves and not typical of Lily Pulitzer, but what I really liked about this dress was that there's little Lily signatures all over it. It's a really precious little popover dress and it looks a lot like um, the Bowden dress I just showed. Okay, just a few items left. You Y'all know your girl loves some houndstooth because I always have some houndstooth up in my closet, but this is a really cute um, Talbot's size six a blazer and it's got a black panel at the bottom and then these giant black and white houndstooth and these cute little black buttons all down the front and it is just precious. So it would be good for a dressy event or for career wear. Next up I have a BB Dakota dress and is it also at a size six and it is this white linen with some blue detailing and a high collar sleeveless, just super cute and would be a great dress for spring. I've heard other resellers talk about this brand and I've always wanted to try it. It is uh, cachet. And the reason why I haven't picked it up is a lot of the styles that I find in cachet, because I do see it a lot, are kind of older, but I really thought this was so cool. This is a 100% silk crop top. And it's got all of these sort of wooden like beads all over it. It's not missing any beads. So it has the little crop top and the crop top's a size four. Very cute. But it also came with matching silk pants. And these are cachet again in a size two. And they are all silk. They have the sheer, let's see if I can show it to you. So it's got a sheer layer over some extra layers. And then at the bottom, they sort of give the illusion, even though they're a straight leg, of a bell bottom because they have all this beading detail on the bottom. And it is in excellent condition and just super cute that I felt like I could not pass it up. So we'll try it and see what happens. Okay, so the last item in this haul is an anthropology brand. It is Mouniette. Soars. I don't know how to say that. I probably butchered it, but it is the cutest dress. It has this big oversized bow and it is just like a pencil skirt and it's got these little straps. So just so precious and you got to love a pocket. It has a pocket on it. So I was very happy to find this and yeah, so I'm really excited. So I hope you enjoyed my haul and got something out of it. Uh, especially that you can purchase items in all kinds of places and be able to resell it for a profit. You don't have to just go to thrift stores. You don't have to just do retail arbitrage. You could do a mix of all of that and still be successful with your business. I hope that you'll take a look at my Poshmark closet. It's retrospectives. And if you like, please go check out Gala's closet. Hers is Gala B. Thank you so much for coming by and visiting our channel. We hope you'll stick around for more content. We're constantly putting out different videos. If you're only here for the reselling content, that's totally cool. Uh, you can check out our playlist that only has reselling items on it. And uh, But we encourage you to check out our other videos because we do get excited about other things besides reselling. And uh, yeah, so thank you for coming by and we really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It means so much to us if you'll subscribe to our channel and hope you have a good evening. Bye.